stairs. I think today's better. Look, um, thank you, Neil, for that warm welcome. And I think today is one of the very pleasant duties that I have as president of ACHS. And that's to award um, today our International Gold Medal. This follows on from our 40th anniversary last year when the Australian Council on Healthcare Standards Board was keen to extend the ACH medal to include an international person who's furthering the work of our international division, ACHSI, and we have a very worthy recipient of that award with us today. So I'm delighted to be able to present the ACHS International 40 Year Anniversary Medal and would ask the recipient of that medal please step forward and join me on the stage. Dr. Sahadala, if you would do that. So what I'd like to do is to read the citation for Dr. Sahadala, and then I'd ask you, of course, to respond. So, delighted to announce that the winner of our ACHS International Medal is Dr. Mohammed Ilyas Sahadala from Kerala in India. I'd now like to we'll read your citation and so that you can all share with me um, the background for Dr. Sahadala and why he's such a worthy recipient of this, our second International Medal. So Dr. Sahadala of the Kerala Institute of Medical Sciences, the Kingsbury, has been a leader in establishing and developing hospital quality standards in India. He initially trained in internal medicine at the Trivandrum, probably, if you could guess, Government College in India. Thank you. He migrated to the United Kingdom during the 70s to further his clinical training. Whilst he was there, he also studied and attained an MBM degree from Hull University, which paired his clinical skills with the principle of executive management. From there, he moved his family, and we have his lovely wife here with us today as well, to Saudi Arabia, accepting a position with the Saudi Aramco Hospitals, the world's largest oil company, with its own hospital for employees and their dependents. He was part of the clinical management team that prepared the hospital for accreditation, one of the first hospitals accredited outside of the United States. He served as a technical advisor, explaining how the Middle East patients seek care and how accreditation guidelines could be developed to address the region's challenge. This was a very valuable experience for Dr. Sahadala, as it exposed him to the new principles of clinical quality and helped develop his thinking on how to ensure patient and provider safety. Then returning to Kerala in 2002, he set about establishing his dream of offering high quality care at a cost efficient price and opened Kim's Hospital, the flagship facility of the Kim's Group of Hospitals. Kim's Group now consists of six hospitals in India, three in the Middle East and five polyclinics throughout the Gulf region. So as you can see, a large expansion. In 2006, Kim's was accredited by ACHSI and holds the honour of being the first Indian hospital to receive both national and international accreditation. Dr. Sahadala's philosophy about care is at the core of all Kim's decisions. He's been a quality pioneer throughout India with a focus on good clinical practices to ensure patient safety. He recognises that the hospital is part of the community and promotes this hospital as a good partner to the patients that it serves. He's also prioritised access to care, championing the development of Indian emergency medicine, which is a new and underdeveloped specialty. He regards the emergency department as the hospital's welcome mat and focuses on ensuring that the clinical staff in this area are very much front and foremost as part of his philosophy, but that they pro properly triage and treat patients within those international guidelines, initiating a US style residency program with academic support from level one trauma centers to ensure all emergency management residents experience high quality academics. academics. All Kim's emergency management residents are required to work in the community and actively teach CPR and basic first aid to any organisation that asks. Dr. Sahadala has been a strong force for change in India 
championing the concept of quality in every aspect of hospital life, making Kim's a role model for other Indian hospitals. He encourages Kim staff to exceed the minimum standards and treat patients as we ourselves would wish to be treated. So a very worthy recipient, so congratulations, Dr. Sahadala, on being the ACHS International 2015 medalist. So if you would join me in congratulations. <laughs> A very good morning to everyone and it's a momentous occasion for me so please uh, let me share a couple of thoughts uh, with all of you. Uh, thank you uh, Professor Cameron, uh, CEO Christine um, Dennis, um, Dr. Despandian. I think um, it's a very really, really, uh, great privilege and honour for me to receive this ACH such a award of leadership, uh, especially for quality and safety. I have been given uh, several awards at home because we initiated the quality and patient safety concept about 10 to 15 years ago, about 15 years ago. And in fact, I started working with these principles about 35 years ago while I was working in the Ramco uh, which is a Saudi American oil company medical department. From there, after establishing the Kim's organization, my association with uh, ACHSI took place to Dr. Um, Rose Duncan. And that's how I was introduced. And subsequently, I want to thank Dr. Despandian, Sue Gilam, Wayne Singh, Len Payne, all of us had a very interesting journey together. I consider this as the most prestigious award because it's an international recognition, as well as it is for patient and quality, uh, for patient care, quality and safety. And also it is um, a, a great recognition of the efforts uh, which has come through in the last few years. When we started out, quality was not a very greatly accepted term in healthcare. However, now India talks about this much more. And we have most of our organization hospitals are accredited by SHSI in India as well as in the Middle East. And uh, in future also, we are developing this partnership further to go further and further to get all of our institutions accredited. In this context, we also work together with uh, some of the governments in the uh, Middle East uh, because they have accepted the ACHSI, ACHSI standards as the Golden Healthcare Standard for Patient Safety and Quality. And uh, this is a very interesting journey. And I know that unprecedented advances in healthcare has, um, uh, you know, and also technology and its application in healthcare has reduced um, many of the sentinel events and uh, never events. But however, what has happened is that um, we are working with less uh, resources and um, in a hurried environment, especially in the emerging um, healthcare world, like, um, you know, uh, developing world like India and also the Middle East. <clears throat> so in this context, the presence of ACHSI and their standards and their internationalization is very important and this is the area we want to work together. I thank all the authorities of ACHSI and uh, the judges, the faculties and all the members and all the audience um, for giving me such an occasion um, to receive the award and also to address you all. And lastly, I would like to thank my family. We have come in full to see uh, The whole clan is here. My wife, Dr. Zora, 
uh, my sons, Dr. Shadiv Sardilla and uh, Sami Sardilla and all the grandchildren uh, are here <laughs> to witness the occasion. And uh, perhaps uh, like uh, many of you, the family presence uh, make it um, all this is uh, meaningful to us. And uh, thank you very much. And uh, we appreciate uh, this um, guest here from AC to say many, many thanks. thanks. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. It's important that we 